Now here's a look at five things to know as you start your day. Jury selection is expected to start in Portland today for Brian Dennison. He's the Buxton man accused of threatening to kill Jewish people online. He was arrested and charged with a hate crime for a series of threatening tweets last year. His lawyers say no reasonable person would take the tweets as a real threat. If he's found guilty, Dennison could spend up to five years in prison. Also today, school board members in SAD 6 are set to vote on whether or not to ban a controversial book from school library. The book deals with gender identity and sexuality. Some parents would like kids to have access to the book. Others say it should be banned because it's just not appropriate. Tonight's school board meeting will start at 6 o'clock at the district's central office that is located in Buxton. Two more schools in Hancock County have discovered high levels of PFAS in their drinking water. According to the Bangor Daily News, these schools are Surrey Elementary School and Blue Hill Consolidated School. Recent water tests found high levels of the so-called forever chemicals, and students have been drinking bottled water since the beginning of the school year. These are the fourth and fifth schools in Hancock County to find high levels of PFAS in the water. Later today, a group of city officials, school leaders, parents will all come together in Portland to campaign for question five. That's a referendum question on the ballot this November 1 of 13. It would give the school board more control over what goes into the budget. Supporters say school board members know more about what the city schools needs. And those against question five say it would give school board members way too much power. Today's rally will happen outside Portland City Hall and is scheduled for 430 this afternoon. And Hannaford has recalled a couple of Brie cheeses. The manufacturer Old Europe Cheese says two products might be contaminated with Listeria. Those are the 8-ounce Triple Cream Brie Round and the Cut Brie 60% Wedge. If you have either of these products with best buy dates from September 28th to December 14th, you can return them to Hannaford for a full refund. All right, one more check of the seven day forecast and uh, looks like another relatively nice week. It'll be on the cool side to start. Nice and sunny out there today. A little brisk though. Tomorrow, a few more clouds around, but still bright, low 60s. Midweek, the remnants of Ian will be passing through our coastal waters. May end up with a couple of showers along the coastline. Other than that, I think it's dry. And so will the second half of the week be dry. Sun returns for Thursday and Friday. It is warmer too with highs closer to 70 degrees again. A cold front passes Friday night with a shower or two and then much cooler temperatures for Saturday and for Sunday. And that's a long weekend right there. That'll be, uh, you know, Indigenous Day weekend. So that's pretty good. And again, a great week to head out and support your local fairs. If yeah. that's something that you do, there's lots mm -hmm. of great ones uh, that our state has. Tis the season for it. So get out there and enjoy. The weather certainly won't stop you. So nope, not at no all. excuse. Get out there, people. <laughs> all right. Enjoy your Monday. We'll see you throughout the day. Show with updates.